over the years, I have come to love a good top-down shot, you know, especially been doing all these Amazon product highlights and reviews. And it's just so nice to just have a nice top-down shot. You're highlighting the product. It's just your hands, your face isn't in it. You don't have to like worry about being on camera. But what I found is I needed a mobile kind of solution. I wanted a top-down shot, but I wanted to be able to use it outside of the studio, outside of my house, outside, like just be able to carry it around. So let me show you how I quickly made this mobile top-down rig. Video sponsored by Squarespace. You are gonna need some tools for this. We're working with wood, we're working with metal. So you're gonna need a drill, you're gonna need a hacksaw, and then you're also gonna need some sort of circular saw, or if one of your buddies has a table saw, table saw worked absolutely fantastically because it just cuts straight lines so easily. Or maybe you have a table saw. If you do, I am envious of you because I want a table saw. So the main component, the table top itself, I used a one half inch piece of plywood that seemed machined in a way that kind of looked nice on top. Quick note about that, if you can go thicker, you probably should because my piece really bowed, especially as I left it in my car and it got hot and I am still trying to correct that. But if you can go a little thicker than a half inch, do it. But that is of course gonna make it heavier. So you do you. Gonna need some washers, some one inch wood screws. And then in Home Depot, they called it 18 gauge SLT, which I think just means slotted angle zinc. And the bars come in three foot pieces. You're only gonna need about 27 inches of that piece, but two of those three foot bars do the trick. Then to connect that together at the top, you're gonna need a bolt, a couple nuts, and a wing nut. So you can easily just take that on and off without having to use tools. So for the bolts and the nuts and the wing nut, I used five sixteenths inch uh, coarse bolts and, and nuts, but you really could use whatever, as long as it fits in and doesn't slip through the slotted uh, zinc that you get. Quick word about the sponsor of the video, Squarespace. With the new Fluid Engine from Squarespace, making the website of your dreams has never been easier. You start out with this professionally designed template, you don't need to know how to code, already made for you, and then you can tweak it using this brand new UI, drag and drop, very easy to use. Your website is gonna work on both desktop and mobile, which is absolutely crucial. You can schedule appointments through your site, offer private sessions, coaching calls, workshops, and then when you're ready to make some tweaks and improvements, the analytics suite inside Squarespace is second to none. If you want to try it out, go to squarespace.com slash Cody Warner, and then when you're ready to buy, use the code Cody Warner to get 10% off your first purchase of a domain or website. The piece of plywood that I got was two feet by four feet, so I'm just cutting it down. What I did before this to get these measurements was I set my iPhone at the same height that the zinc is gonna get the iPhone to. And then I just measured out the field of view that the camera is capturing. So that field of view is 28 inches wide by 16 inches tall. So I'm cutting this plywood down to 29 inches wide by 17 inches tall, just to give myself a little bit of room to work with. Now with that leftover, what I did next was created four one inch pieces that could kind of work as walls that the table sits on. So the table's sitting up now one inch on all sides. Again, I used half inch wood. So for me, I made the long side the full 29 inches, and then I made the short side a little bit less than 16 inches um, so that it would all fit inside that square. Then I also cut two little pieces to double up the thickness of that where I'm going to attach those zinc arms. So once I have that all done, I put that kind of table together from the bottom. It almost looks like a tray, but just screwed that all in all from the top. I found that because I gave myself that extra room on the outside, you're not seeing any of those screws that go around the outside to kind of hold those walls on there. Again, just reinforce the place where I'm gonna attach the zinc. I reinforce that so that my screws have more purchase when they're going in to hold the zinc in place. Then I simply just took the wing nut, put the zinc together at the top and kind of just dry fitted it mark some holes, you have your reinforced spots where you're gonna attach the zinc. I measured out 27 inch pieces of the zinc and then cut the zinc to that level. So the only, the only little trick about this is you wanna make sure that you have a round slot, just one of those round slots at the bottom of both of those pieces of zinc down here so that you can attach it to your table right there at the very bottom. I did have to cut off little pieces of the zinc on each end uh, so that I could start from where those holes are just little to be able to attach it and attach the zinc with washers and screws so that it comes up, I can wing nut it together up there at the top and then attach my camera mount clamp right to that wing nut. So then you just have this like ability to 
uh, you know, throw your phone right up there. And again, anywhere you are, anywhere you go, you just have this tabletop. I normally use it turned the other way, so I'm not like reaching through these, uh, these bars. As always, let me know if you have any questions in the comments. If you make one of these, also definitely tell me about it because I'd love to see it on Instagram or whatever, whatever you've made.